Hi everyone. Thanks for giving me the chance to um, talk to you today about a really exciting STEM program that's being made available for schools all around Victoria and possibly all around Australia. My name's Rob Higgins. Uh, my background is I've been working for about 40 plus years in regional and rural schools all around Victoria. Um, and over the last few years, I've been involved in the energy breakthrough at Marybar as the push carts coordinator and in the last two years as the robotics coordinator for that event. Um, the Energy Breakthrough, it's been running from Maryborough for the last 30 years. Many of you would know it as the um, human powered vehicle race, the push cart races, lots of different events that happen over the week in November, which give chances for students, groups of teams to work together in the STEM field and compete against each other, not only um, by constructing and physically um, entering an event, but also by performing and sharing their knowledge of the machines, the devices that they've built. Two years ago, we decided to expand the program and include robotics as part of the energy breakthrough. What's developed from there is an opportunity for rural schools city schools or schools to be involved in a STEM based world event and maybe even become world champions using the Sphero robots. So what we've done is we've set up a competition, a one day competition, which the students prepare for at school between now and November. And in teams of five, they get to come to Maryborough with their Sphero robots and compete against other students. I'm gonna give you a chance to look at a video now, which will show you what the World Championships look like this year, and talk to you a little bit more after that about what the World Championship is. Well, that's an idea of what the Sphero Global Challenge is about. That's filmed schools competing in the Mission Impossible theme from last year and schools that are competing against each other at that event. This year, the theme is time travel. Primary schools have to do three different events and present those in November to the judges. Secondary schools have to do five events and also present those to the judges. What I found, the coding and the elements that are involved, the kids just adapt very, very quickly to it. And teachers are there to facilitate, not necessarily to teach the skills that are required. In fact, in most cases, I sit back and watch the kids and let them um, instruct me, teach me. Teams are made up with five members, of which at least two must be female. Um, the team can have more female members, but there must be at least two female members in each team. We really do encourage um, girls into STEM based programs. It's all about teamwork. It's all about cooperation. It's not about teachers worrying about, can I teach these skills? Kids will learn these skills very quickly. I've already run about six PDs in schools around Victoria. What I've done is work with the students. And then from that point on, they just take 
the basic skills that they're getting and take them and expand upon them. We want them to use creativity. We're not giving them a formula they have to follow. We're giving them a problem for them to solve and to work together. This year, as I said, we've become part of the global challenge. We're really fortunate to have Dr. G and her team from Dallas, Texas, who run the um, STEM sports program and the um, Global Challenge are coming to Maryborough this year to um, see our event and be actively involved in it. It's an exciting year. It's an exciting competition for students to be involved. It's reasonably priced. We, schools would need to purchase two of these devices, about 350 each, which run from either an iOS device, an old iPad, an old um, iPhone, or they can run from an Android device. device. Um, we really want creativity. We really want to see teamwork with this. We will have resources to assist people. Um, I'm available to help people at any stage. I'm available online or directly to talk to students about what they're doing. And it's a chance for schools to really excel. We are fortunate at the end of this year, one primary school and one secondary school who are the winners at those two categories at Maryborough will be crowned our state champions and will be invited to attend or invited to participate in, you could attend in Dallas, but more likely participate virtually in the world championships um, for the Sphero Global Challenge, um, they'll be the Australian competitors and they will work with Dr G and her team to compete at that level. And who knows, we could have the world champions from a regional school in Victoria. Right, just going to show you a few more things about this year's event specifically. Hope you're interested. I'll be back soon. Are you ready to take a trip through time and space with your students? Welcome to Season 5 of the Sphero Global Challenge, Sphero Time Travelers. We have an exciting year of competition ahead, so let's make sure that you're equipped to get your students ready to go on an unforgettable adventure. Join a global community of coaches, educators, and parents who are creating awesome learning experiences for their students with the Sphero Global Challenge. There are two ways for your team to compete for the Sphero Global Challenge World Championship. First, you can submit all of your entry and all of your information virtually using our new Sphero Global Challenge registration site. Secondly, if you're in one of the locations where we have a sanctioned in-person tournament, you can attend one of those and qualify the, for the Sphero World Championship in that way. More to come on this later. Really exciting news for Season 5 is that we have a new registration site for the Sphero Global Challenge. On your web browser, you will go to edu.sphero.com sgc. From there, you will be able to sign in using your Sphero EDU account, log in, and you will be able to enter your team information, sign up for a virtual or in-person event competition, and then at the end of the season, if you're competing virtually, this is where you will submit all of your work. This year's season, we have three exciting events for your students to take part in. The first one for upper elementary and middle school age students is our Rover Plus Portal Through Time event. Also for the same age group, upper elementary and middle school students, we have our Bolt Time Travel Odyssey event. And for those kiddos in the early elementary years, we have our Indy Jurassic Journey event. Let's make sure you know what you need in order to be equipped to complete the mission objectives for each event. For the Rover Plus Portal Through Time event, you're going to need one Sphero Rover Plus or Rover Robot. You will also need our Blueprint Season 5 Sphero Global Challenge Kit. In addition to those two physical pieces, you are going to need space to create your own 6 foot by 9 foot competition field. You can do this with maze tape or painter's tape, masking tape, something along those lines. For the Bolt Time Travel Odyssey event, you're going to need two Bolt robots. You're going to also need a Blueprint Season 5 Sphero Global Challenge kit. And you will need a code mat or competition field. The code mat can be any of the code mats that we sell on Sphero.com 
or you can create your own competition field using the recommendations we provide in the coaching guides. For the Indie Jurassic Journey event, you will need one Indie student kit and you'll need various craft supplies to be able to complete the mission objectives. So what is it that you actually get when you purchase a registration for season five of the Sphero Global Challenge? Well, first of all, you're going to get coaching guides for each event. Those coaching guides are going to be your tool to guide your students through each of the mission objectives. There's going to be season checklists that help you know when to uh, move on to the next step. There are team meeting agendas that act similarly to a lesson plan for you to be able to implement with your robotics club or with your uh, classroom. There's submission slideshow templates. And in addition to that, you also have the ability to email our Sphero competitions team for questions regarding the rules and the rubrics. You can see an image of a, one of the rules documents and one of the rubrics on the slide here. If you live in proximity to one of our in-person events, you can find a list of those in-person events and dates on our Sphero Global Challenge registration site. When you register your team, you can opt for an in-person tournament and select the location you would like to attend. A representative from Stem It Up Sports and the host site will be in touch with you regarding all that you need to do in order to compete in that event. We can't wait to see what your students put together for this year's season of the Sphero Global Challenge. Sphero Time Travelers. Please keep in touch and let us know if you have any question. Well, that's it, people. I'm not sure if that's grabbed your attention, but I'm sure it'll grab the kids' attention. Um, it's a chance for little schools to be involved in big competitions. It's a chance for rural schools to be at the forefront of competition worldwide. If you're interested, go to um, energybreakthrough.org.au, look online, it'll give you the details of how to enter, it'll give you the details of contacts, how to get in touch with me, how to get in touch with the rest of the team. And if you're just not sure, get in touch with me, we'll have a chat, we'll have a, either a, um, a Zoom contact or a Teams contact, etc. or Let's see where I'm traveling. I've visited quite a few schools already. We might be able to visit a few more during that time. The kids will love it. Just imagine what your community would think if you were the world championships or just the, the Australian championships, or the kids just have a lot of fun and really learn some STEM elements. Thanks for listening. Hope you've had a great day today. And any more questions, get in touch with me.